Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire dishwasher main control board. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new main control board. The main control board controls the functions of the dishwasher. The manager should be changing it out so if it's failed and it's not responding to your inputs or you're getting an error code saying it needs to be changed out. In order to change a part, we have to open up the dishwasher door. Now that we have the door open, you can see that there are screws that hold the door together. We're going to remove the bottom two on each side that hold the outer door panel on. We're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Once you have the screws out, we can lift the door up. All you have to do is carefully lift up on the door and it should drop down a little bit to come out of the control panel. Then you can pull it out a little bit, lift it off and set it aside. Now we can open up the door and use a Torque 20 driver to remove the screws that hold the control panel assembly on. Once you have the last screw out, you can let the door go closed and then let the control panel drop down. And we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the cover on. Once you have the screws out, we can take the cover off. There's a couple locking tabs right here that we have to release. You have them pressed over, you can lift up on the tab to release them. And we're going to carefully lift the cover off from the locking tab on this side. If the grommet doesn't come out, you want to make sure you press it out. And then we can lift the cover off and set it aside. Once you have the cover off, we're going to disconnect the red and black wires off the control board. Just going to use a small flathead screwdriver to help pop them off. So we can disconnect the wiring harnesses on the control board. All you have to do is carefully pull them up. Once you have the wires off, we can set the control panel assembly on a towel on the counter so we don't damage it and change the part. Now we can take off the last two wiring harnesses. All you have to do is carefully unplug these. Once you have them unplugged, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the main control board onto the control panel. Once you have all the screws out, we can lift the main control board off the control panel and pull it out. Here's the old main control board next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new main control board in, we're just going to set it down into the control panel underneath the wiring harnesses and line up the screw holes. Once you have it in place, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Now we can reconnect the ribbon cables. All you have to do is line them up, push them on so you get a good connection. Once you have the board installed into the control panel, we can put it back into the dishwasher. To put it in, the first thing we're going to do is connect the wiring harnesses. We had the red and black wire that went over here on the control board. We had the black on the top and the red on the bottom. 
we can plug in the wiring harnesses. We're going to just carefully line them up, make sure they go down all the way and get a good connection. Once you have them in place, we can grab the cover and we're going to put the little tab in this side first and then carefully lower down over all the wires. Then as you're lowering it down, you want to make sure that the wires go underneath and that the little grommet goes into the cutout. And we're going to snap it down into place so these locking tabs hold it in. Then we can grab the Phillips screwdriver and put the screws in. Once you have the screws tightened down, we can open up the door. And we're going to lift up on the control panel and line it up so it mounts onto the door. Once you have it in place, we're going to grab the Torque 20 driver and put in the screws. Once you have the control panel assembly on, we can let go of the door and then we can put the outer door back on. To put that on, we're going to set this cutout on the door onto the little shelf on the hinge and then there's a couple cutouts here in the door that you have to line up with these tabs right here and then you can see the bottom is kind of has that cutout because when you put it on you have to lift it up and lock it into place. So we're just going to set the door onto the little hinge shelf and then open up the door a little bit and then you want to make sure that the cutouts go on the side and then lift up on the door so it locks into the control panel. Once you have it in place we're going to carefully hold on to the outer panel while you open the door so it doesn't drop down and the screw holes are still lined up. Then we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in. Once you have all the screws tightened down, you can close the dishwasher door, plug it back in, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.